Yeah, Final Cut problem totally resolved. And <laughs> no pun intended. I am learning resolve, by the way. It's gonna be kind of cool, uh, the whole color grading thing. Anyway, turns out uh, what was going on yesterday is over the last like almost decade now, since I've started using Final Cut 10, I've been collecting plugin after plugin after plugin because there's a lot of things that I don't personally want to do that other people do way better than me. And I like to focus on what I'm good at and let other people build things like uh, titles and generators and effects and all that kind of stuff for me. Uh, couple, I'm, I'm going to be learning a lot of that stuff myself, like motion and whatnot. Anyway, point of the story, the where what I'm trying to get at is I had dozens and dozens and dozens of plugins, effects, generators, transitions, all that kind of stuff, third party stuff in Final Cut. And what was happening, and it's still, it's happening a little bit today as well, but I've, I've started to really narrow down what they are. What was happening is those third party plugins were interfering with Final Cut and just giving me a giant headache. Uh, so the way to solve that was I stripped everything out of Final Cut, all the third party plugins, and it seems to be working perfectly now. Final Cut it actually is working quite a bit faster than the previous version of Final Cut. So I'm still editing in Final Cut and part of me wonders if Final Cut's better, or if it's just what I know and what I'm really good at. And like, at a certain point, you know, learning new tools might be a good idea. But I still love Final Cut for a lot of different reasons. But let me be clear, I'm not happy with how this transition went. Um, the transition from Mojave to Catalina and Final Cut 10.4.6 to Final Cut 10.4.7. Not happy with it. And for obvious reasons, I, I, like, I lost an entire day's worth of productivity yesterday. And I feel like it could have been avoided. And... Like, I, I get that this was a big transition. They went from 32-bit to 64-bit for a lot of things, and the whole file system is restructured yet again on Mac OS. And there's some big, big changes, but I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt this video real quick because I have a stupid idea. Um, you tell me if putting my iPhone on a jib. You think that's going to be overkill? Probably, right? And I know that there's metal support now and everything's faster, but at some point we need to get it as uh, there comes a time when we really, really, really need to update this software and make sure that things are working. Like the, if you're Final Cut relies on plugins. And, and don't get me wrong, I love Final Cut Pro. And one of the things I love about it is the fact that if you can't do something in Final Cut Pro, there's a great plugin, there's great APIs that will help you do those things in Final Cut. What I think is borderline unacceptable, except especially for an application that has the word pro in it, is the fact that these plugins were the reason that Final Cut broke so quickly yesterday. And I still have to figure out which plugins they were. And I know I do have some projects with like some of those effects and transitions and generators and titles and all that kind of stuff. I have to go through and I have to strip those out of those projects. But the problem is stripping them out of the projects is creating a little bit of a headache for me because it just keeps on freezing when I try to take them out. And I've rebuilt some projects. I've done a god awful amount of work this morning. But uh, 
hopefully they update things and the uh, plugin developers update their stuff. But I feel like this should not have been allowed to happen by Apple and by Final Cut, the Final Cut team, for a piece of software that relies so heavily on plugins. I feel like this, and maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like I shouldn't lose a day's work when I want to update my software. When I like when they promise you all this stuff, when they promise you these big carrots, like oh, 30 percent faster, up to 35 percent faster on an iMac Pro, which I have an iMac Pro. I freaking love the thing. When they promise that kind of stuff to you, and then say, by the way, we don't know which ones but some of your plugins are going to completely make you miserable. Like, that just drives me nuts, and there's no identification either. Final Cut doesn't tell you, like, hey, this, pl this plugin is going to make your operating system crash. This plugin is going to make this whole piece of software just not work anymore. They just say whatever, freeze up, done. I mean, some kind of detection, maybe? Like, at the very minimum, it shouldn't be a mystery as to why Final Cut's not working. Um, this isn't unique to Final Cut or Apple, but I just hold them to higher standards. And I, I just, I'm still really frustrated with my experience yesterday with updating my software. I expected a 30% improvement in productivity and speed and all that kind of stuff. Instead, I lost an entire days of work. Um, that's just my opinion. Gonna keep on using Final Cut. Also learning Resolve. Um, and here at the studio, one of the other editors, he's gonna be um, giving me a crash course on all the new stuff in Premiere as well, because I unfortunately still have to edit a lot of stuff outside of Final Cut because everyone else thinks it is <laughs> everyone else thinks Final Cut's a joke and not everyone else but like a lot of people think it's a joke and my day yesterday contributed quite a bit to their argument I got laughed at by several editors like ah that's why you should be using Premiere how can I argue with them anyway See you in the next video. Hopefully it's not a rant. 